As the U.S. sends weapons to Ukraine and Israel, the military stockpile of these munitions is running severely short. To compound the problem, the American government's reserve of the rare earth minerals needed to produce more is also dwindling. These 17 metallic elements are essential for making a variety of modern day weaponry. Some make bombs and bullets, others rockets and missiles. They're crucial components for making fighter jets, tanks, warships and submarines, as well as the technology they utilize, like radar and sonar systems. Rare earths are even used in high powered laser weapons. Rare earths play a key role, as we know, in our daily lives, but they're particularly important for the defense, for our defense efforts. And we have to secure control of the key natural resources that our 21st century military depends on. During the 1950s, amid the peak of the Cold War, the U.S. had a store of these minerals, valued at $42 billion in today's dollars. But fast forward to 2024, that supply is now down to just $888 million. And building it back up is no simple task. That's because China controls a whopping 90% of the world's rare earth processing, while accounting for nearly two thirds of the global mining efforts for these minerals. But since 2000, China has cornered the market on rare earth production, along with the high tech components that depend on rare earths. Today, they control more than 90% of global supply. And that should give all of us pause. Almost all new smartphones, computers, televisions, vehicles, and advanced U.S. defense systems depend on Chinese sourced rare earths components. It's a near monopoly that Beijing has made moves to hold on to. The PRC has banned both the export of technology to make rare earth magnets, as well as technology used to extract and separate the critical materials. Rare earth magnets are essential to many military weapon systems, and the process of extracting and separating the minerals is crucial to making them usable for industrial use. China's superiority in this space has become a major concern for U.S. officials, as the relationship between these two nations has become increasingly strained. We know that our national security is threatened by this growing reliance on, on foreign sources for our military weapons and equipment. Also for the raw materials, the parts, the finished products, everything we need for our defense industrial base is critical because if one part is not working right, the rest of it falls apart. Should tensions ever escalate to open warfare with the PRC, defense analysts believe the United States does not have the munitions needed for a sustained conflict against Chinese military forces. And preparing for such a situation requires the rare earth resources the U.S. is currently running out of as China dominates them. But our military's job is to be prepared for potential conflict. We cannot ignore the risk of future conflict with China by turning a blind eye to our own vulnerable defense supply chains. But the American government has been reluctant to find a domestic solution, in part because the extraction of rare earth elements often involves significant land disruption and the use of hazardous chemicals, potentially leading to soil and water pollution. Processing the minerals presents similar environmental concerns, as it can produce toxic waste that poses risks to both ecosystems and local communities. It's a price that China is already paying for in its status as the world's rare earths leader. The country has had to evacuate entire villages after reports of high cancer rates and other health problems associated with the numerous rare earth refineries there. Currently, the U.S. is responsible for only about 14% of total global rare earth mining. And despite the risks associated with acquiring these materials domestically, lawmakers have pushed forward legislation to boost American production amid fears that not doing so presents a possibly larger national security threat. The ultimate solution, frankly, is to create a domestic rare earth value chain. And this can be done. Creating this value chain will end Chinese global market dominance or the rare earth market mitigate the national security risks of Chinese market dominance and create American capital and jobs. A bipartisan bill has been introduced in Congress that would offer tax credits for rare earth magnets manufactured in the U.S. Other efforts include a $16 million investment by the federal government to build a first of its kind critical minerals production facility in the U.S. The Defense Department has also reached an agreement to spend almost $100 million to acquire and install manufacturing equipment, operationalize technical infrastructure, and engineer production lines. 
It's all part of a global race for more of the minerals, and the U.S. will have to play catch-up.